Through the COVID-19 pandemic, New York State employees have been on the front lines of the response, supporting the health and safety of fellow New Yorkers. As we continue to respond and recover from this health crisis, the needs of our community persist, and it is more important than ever to join the State Employees Federated Appeal, also known as the CIFA Campaign. CIFA provides New York State employees the opportunity to support more than 1,600 501c3 organizations addressing the critical needs of our community during these unprecedented times and all year long. Be part of the largest impact state employees can make. Together, we are CIFA strong and New York tough. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today as we kick off the 2021 CIFA campaign. My name is Chloe Jean Tedford, and I'm the Assistant Director of Special Events, as well as the CIFA Campaign Manager for SUNY System Administration. I am always in good company with Kim Scott, Campaign Manager for the Construction Fund, Adidra Irvin, who assists with the CIFA SUNY-wide campaign, as well as Sarah Saplin, who has taken on an exciting new volunteer role with CIFA this year, Chair of the Capital Region Local Committee. Thank you all for your hard work on this annual campaign. I love getting to work with you. If you're new to working for the state, this may be your first time hearing about CIFA. CIFA, or the Statewide Employees Federated Appeal, is a campaign through which all state employees are able to donate to a wide variety of charities. Through CIFA, money can be raised for service providers at a much lower cost than if they did it themselves, which means more of the money they receive goes directly towards providing the services that are needed by people in our own communities. No matter what cause you support, CIFA has a charity that can truly benefit from your gift, especially this year. Things may look a little different for the campaign this year than you're used to, but I promise we've got some great events planned and we're hoping you'll help us make a big impact. Over the next few days, we'll be sharing details of our campaign events as they launch. A silent auction, a month-long walkathon, the statewide CIFA trivia game, and kicking off today, everyone's favorite, a month-long 50-50 raffle. All events will be virtual with the option for safe in-person participation. Be sure to head to suny.edu slash CIFA for more information on how to sign up for these fun events. Today you'll hear from Chancellor Jim Malatris, Senior Vice Chancellor and Chief Human Resources Officer Paul Patton, and Stacey Hengsterman, President and CEO for Special Olympics New York, which is one of the local charities directly supported by the CIFA campaign. I'll be back at the end to give away our very first raffle prize, Enjoy the rest of this virtual event, and I'll see you soon. Over the past month and a half, I've had the opportunity to visit 26 or 40% of our SUNY campuses. While a chancellor's tour of the state doesn't typically happen at this pace, we had no other choice. We needed to swiftly respond to the COVID-19 pandemic on our campuses to ensure that our students, faculty, and staff had the resources they needed not only to be successful, but to be healthy and to be cared for. We recognize, however, that there is a greater community we impact, the communities we live in, outside of our campuses all across New York State. Governor Mario Cuomo called it the family of New York, and we must join together to help others when they need help. Given the COVID-19 crisis, many families rely on charities like those supported by CIFA for these crucial resources, mental health, access to medical care, food, and basic needs. I'm proud of the work we've done, but our work isn't done yet. It's our moral obligation to make sure everyone in our family is cared for. Therefore, I hope you will join me in supporting the communities we live in and work in by participating in SUNY's CIFA campaign, because we are SUNY strong and we are stronger together. SUNY System has a proud history of charity, advocacy, and empowering people to be their best selves. As we've watched our communities wrestle with unprecedented challenges due to COVID-19, the one consistent question we ask each and every day is, how can we help? We are mindful that every decision we make, big and small, has the potential to make a difference in the lives of those we served. Last year, SUNY System Administration contributed nearly $20,000 to the CIFA campaign and historically, the statewide SUNY system is by far the largest donor to the effort. This year, it's truly more important than ever 
to support any of the over 1,400 charities represented in the CIFA campaign. As you can imagine, COVID-19 is creating new needs while putting enormous financial pressure on all nonprofits. The economic uncertainty caused by the pandemic may cause many donors to dial back. Many nonprofits are also having to cancel fundraising events out of concern for public safety. Most nonprofits have limited financial reserves to see them through lean times, putting them in financial peril. It is not uncommon to hear stories of agencies overwhelmed with a greater number of people needing services or business closures creating higher unemployment and unusual stress. It's all connected. A single challenge multiplies into several problems and we quickly get to a state of hopelessness. So if you are in a financial position to do so, you should consider donating through CIFA to directly help combat the COVID-19 pandemic. The SUNY family is great at giving. We know how to shift with uncertain times. I encourage you to make a difference through this campaign. My days working in healthcare through disasters too many to mention help me realize what makes our humanity sustainable is when those who can help those who can't. To those in need, a smile is as welcome as a gift, and a gift is often met with tears. Please join me in helping SUNY sustain and enhance our giving spirit and demonstrate that we might bend, but we will not break. Our goal will be met and our communities will be strong. Thank you. Hi SUNY, it's Stacey Hangsterman, President and CEO of Special Olympics New York. I was so excited that the team asked me to help kick off the CIFA campaign. So I started Special Olympics New York about two years ago and we serve 68,000 athletes across New York State, people with intellectual disabilities. Two things that you should know about Special Olympics. I don't know if I quite understood before I took this job. First, everybody knows it's a sports organization, but what you really should know is it's so much more than sports. Yes, we provide authentic, competitive, real sports opportunities to uh, people with intellectual disabilities all across the state, but what it really is, is a movement of inclusion. And it's really making the next generation, a unified generation of showing how you can be inclusive of everybody, even if they're a little bit different uh, through sports. Also, people think Special Olympics is one day, right? When is the Special Olympics? When is the day? When can I volunteer for the games? I thought it was more like one day um, that people just volunteer and hug the athletes and that was really all Special Olympics was about. But Special Olympics is every day. Our athletes train two to three times a week in their sport. There are three different sports seasons. This became most apparent to us um, during this time of COVID and how badly our athletes were missing us for like all of us. We, in March, uh, faced isolation, um, social isolation, isolation from our family, from our friends. We couldn't go to the restaurants we wanted to go to. We couldn't do the things we wanted to do. And I, um, probably like many of you, did not like that one bit. And I think it shows a little bit about how people with disabilities um, too often feel um, in our state, in our country, and in our world. They are socially isolated. And this COVID um, made it even worse for them. So Special Olympics had to get in there as soon as we can, and we did. Uh, we got right into the video. We got good at it. We usually see our athletes on the courts, in the fields, in the pools. Uh, but we got up on Zoom and we got our training clubs up online and we're still doing that. So I'd love if you would contribute to Special Olympics New York. You can pick um, an organization um, in your CIFA catalog. As I remember, it's probably that's probably online too. It used to be a big booklet that we would pass around. Uh, you can pick Special Olympics New York. Uh, I would love if you did, but if you don't and you have your charity of choice or you just wanna give, 
let me tell you from our perspective how important your giving is. Uh, at Special Olympics, we have about 200 fundraisers a year. Uh, we are the majority fundraised by philanthropic giving. Uh, we just get a little tiny bit of state support that has um, been cut, as you could imagine, um, in the last few months. So we rely on um, our donations. Um, and employee giving is an important line in our budget, and that comes from people like you and from the CIFA campaign. So it was great to give when I was at SUNY, great to be the campaign manager. What you really want to be able to know is that your money makes a difference. And at Special Olympics New York and other um, organizations, I can tell you it does make a difference to us and it helps us continue doing uh, what we all need to do even more so uh, this year more than others. And it helps us support athletes, whether they are gonna stay virtually or whether they're gonna get back in the game and start uh, training in person. Thank you, Stacy, for sharing with us today about Special Olympics New York. If you head to the website, suny.edu slash CIFA, you can check out a really cool student athlete recruitment video that Special Olympics New York shared with us. If you know of an organization that's directly supported by CIFA and you wanna share their campaign video with us, please send it over. We'll be sure to feature it on the website at some point throughout our campaign. Thank you also to Chancellor Malatris and Paul Patton for your leadership and support. We all know that now more than ever, it's important to consider giving. Don't forget, today kicks off the month-long 50-50 raffle. Month-long, big pot, big chance to win. We'll be sending an announcement email shortly after this event to let you know how you can get your tickets virtually or safely in person. And last but not least, let's pick our first raffle winner. In this bucket are the names of individuals who have already committed their e-pledge for the CIFA campaign this year. Thank you to those individuals. It's not too early. Make sure you get yours in. Our first raffle winner is Allison Newman. Congratulations. I'll be in touch shortly on how to get your $50 gift card. That's all. Thanks for tuning in today for our virtual kickoff. I'm sorry that we couldn't be in person, but we have some really great events coming up and we'll be sending you those details over the next couple days. Be sure to check out our website frequently. All of the information will be there too. Have a great afternoon. Bye.